Hey guys, it's Anna. Welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're not new to my channel. Now that I've gotten like a happy intro out of the way, this video is going to take some very serious topics, some very serious allegations. So I will not be as cheery in the rest of the video. Obviously I'm talking about very mature topics. If that's not your deal or if this is going to trigger you because we are talking about assault allegations, then Go ahead and watch something else. I, I totally understand. I will be here with another video very soon. Go watch my shorts, they're usually a little more cheap. Don't forget to go follow my social media. My clock app, has, my TikTok has the videos up to date if you wanna go see like right on time. These take a little bit longer to edit. And I've got a second account, not Anna Reports News, and my Instagram, which I'm working really hard on. So if you wanna go give it some love, I would really appreciate it. I'm almost at 10,000 followers again. If you don't know, I'm probably gonna make a story time video about this, but my original account got banned. But we've gotten more of the intro away. Today we are going to be talking about Percy Hines White. If you don't know who Percy Hines White is, he's an actor on the new show Wednesday that came out on Netflix a couple months ago and he's one of the main characters. He acts on this show with Jenna Ortega, and he's kind of been known to be talking to her. There actually have been some dating rumors that have been going on behind the scenes, including Demois, who has said that they dated for a while, they broke up, and he begged for her to come back. That's kind of the dating allegations, but let's get into who Percy Hines White is. Percy Hines White is a 21-year-old Canadian actor. He came to the US to act on shows like Wednesday and other ones and has been wanting to pursue acting for a really long. He also was in the roles of Edge of Winter, A Christmas Horror Story, and he had a starring role in the show, in the movie The Gift It. He's six foot two, so he's a tall man, but he's pretty, pretty skinny, pretty lean. And his past dating experience is not known. Now the reason why I talk about past dating experience is about two days ago on the Twitter social media app, a woman came forward and stated some pretty serious allegations. Since there is a lot written out, you are gonna get it on screen, but I'm going to be reading it from my laptop. So the Twitter account, M-I-L-K-I-E-V-I-C-H, tweeted out that she was shocked people were so obsessed with Percy on the Wednesday show because behind the scenes, he was kind of creepy and had been known to do so to girls. She then posted a written text, and I'm gonna read you that picture now. Percy lives in Toronto, and he and his friend group has been known for, since they were like 15, of being predators and trying to manipulate girls into effing them or giving them pictures. They were pushy, rude, a word to girlfriends, and girls and people in general. And then when he got a bit older, he started throwing parties in his basement. This is a key factor planning with his friends to explicitly invite women they thought were attractive so he could get them intoxicated enough to have relations with them and lie about being intoxicated as well. So the men would invite these women into the basement allegedly and kind of give them something to get them intoxicated and pretend they were intoxicated so that they could do things with these women. This is what they're alleging. At 17, at least two from what she knows, he would pursue, have relations with, a word, and get her friend intoxicated who was 13 slash 14 at the time. So when Percy was 17, he was allegedly doing things with a 13 slash 14 year old. Last she knew, they had relations when she was 16 and he was 20, so about a year ago. He hurt her while she was at one of these parties, while she was too intoxicated. He had cornered and pressured and A-worded multiple of her friends. He has R allegations against him and allegedly he would laugh at victims, share these pictures online against these girls' will. He also manipulated her friend who was 16 to go and have relations with him while she was dealing with the person who wrote this ODing and said, leave her, B, who cares, come F, and she did. Last bit isn't as much his fault, but still a showcase of bad character, carelessness, and demanding relations with someone who is underage. Now, when this happened, when this was posted on Twitter, people started immediately messaging him on the gram and commenting under his pictures on the gram. 
he allegedly was typing to someone, responding to them, and then decided to stop responding, block that person, and then he turned off his comments shortly after over on. Someone said that they saw a video that someone posted on TikTok about this situation, and they DM'd the person and said, hey, I came across your video on TikTok about Percy, and I just wanted you to know and expose him for other things that he has done. Around two years ago, so when he was 19, he would always send weird pictures to minors that would be in group chats and one of her mutuals was in one of them. So he would send pictures where you could obviously see that he was not wearing any clothing, send sort of explicit pictures without having the explicit in it to minors. Someone in high school released a statement about a message they had sent to Percy saying, I know you're taking care of it, but Percy, this is hurting me. This was back in 2020, January, 2020. I never going to I was never going to open up about it. What blank did to me that night seriously affected me. He started fights with multiple people, grabbed a lot of girls and tried blank with them. And I was trying to calm him down and he took advantage of that even though I said no multiple times. You can believe him because he is your close friend, but I have more than 10 people that were there and can back me up. I feel sick and have thrown up multiple times because of this. Like I said before, he, he's very stuck on him not doing anything to me, but he did. I told him multiple times I would not press charges and I just wanted him to admit it, but he won't. He was off some tweaking and he could not possibly remember. I am not a liar. I am the victim. He then responded to that saying, nobody said you were lying. I just need to make sure I hear it from everybody seeing it as it is super delicate situation and I've never had to do something. And then he put another name, also got accused of R word. And she said, okay, I have a list of people that you can ask. And he read that and did not respond. Someone else came forward then on clock app and said, real, my sister went to a party with him back in Heights, CJ's room and said he was the most grossest human she had met and some of the tweets that have been comparing coming forward from people who my family knew is truly horrible and then someone said really like for what reason why are you accusing him again there's not much information they said that in spanish and the person responded well from what i've heard from people who have in the past gone to parties he would get oddly close to people and make them highly uncomfortable not sure the whole story but I will have to ask more info, but I'll let you know. He would have parties in his basement and invite girls that he thought would be easy to get onto by manipulating them into it and getting more him and his friends. Then someone else came forward and said, it hurts to see this man in the public eye and admired by hundreds of thousands of girls. He would let me get our word in his basement and then he called me about it. He was most worried about the police and not if I was okay. Then he continued to let a R word live at his mother's. He promised he would get the R word help and never did. We deserve justice. Then someone else came forward saying with a conversation with Percy on Instagram and Percy says, yeah, that's all true. God reading that S and accepting that I did that just makes me so angry at myself. I don't feel bad because I know we are past it and we're adults now and we're friends and honestly just happy and relieved that I could never do something like that now. I played with your feelings. That was a complete scumbag thing to do. I always lied to myself about it, but yeah, I did that. I was a complete, and I must've made you feel so used and worthless. I'm so sorry. Hi, it's Editing Anna. I am editing this video currently and I completely forgot a large portion. So let's talk about it. In the time period where everyone was releasing information, someone released a video of Percy imitating beating something and saying the word C-O-O-N. If you don't know, that is a racial slur against black people. And in this video, it seems like he knows the context. So let's play that video. Just say to me. <laughs> now you listen here, you son of a bitch. You stay the fuck out of my neighborhood, you heard? After all of this came forward, people also found an old Twitter of his and went through this Twitter and talked about some of the things that were posted on here. It's been almost verified that these tweets were him by some pictures posted on the account, people responding who knew him in personal life saying Percy. So let's just read some of the things on this Twitter. Twitter actually changed its name. So the username has always been I'm Personator, like Percy, like I'm Impersonator. And the name went from Michael to now Mikey Meatwaste, but it's changed its like name, but never the username or the ad that it was at. Also, someone found a tweet where it said, I was born on October 8th, 2001. When I came out of my mother's womb, I was crying and weeping. The important thing 
to note in this was that the date, and that's exactly Percy's birthday. And I know someone could have like tweeted that, but people have also some other tweets on that account to demonstrate that, that has been Percy. So on Twitter, he actually liked some tweets. This isn't like as big of a deal as the allegations towards against him, but people find it very interesting. So he liked a few tweets from back in 2022. And one of them was watching Wednesday on Netflix. Tim Burton is so embarrassing. I can't believe he's in his 60s and reduced to a rubber stamping his name on a Riverdale, but for the Adams Family Netflix show. He should be forcibly retired, maybe even imprisoned. Anyway, it's watchable enough. On the 2nd of December. Then someone also found on the 2nd of December, but it's a twisted new series from the mind of Tim Burton. There's another tweet like that saying, it's crazy how every single new Netflix series is their most viewed ever, yet somehow they keep losing money as subscribers on stock value. And they also refuse to release their actual data. That account has completely disappeared by the way. He also liked some very horrendous tweets. So let's go through these. If you re on a date, let the lady over here you say, I sure would hate to get blown tonight and you'll probably get blanked clean off. Reverse psychology. I say that ladies use, gay men use, blank are complicated. I think it's mostly gay men sucking on them while driving their cars aren't dirt bikes. He also liked another one saying, another day, another three hour debate about blank, blank and blank. Best underwear for men, 2023. Best underwear for men with beard, body, 2023. Best underwear for men, one fat leg, one skinny leg, 2023. He also deleted DMs where he called him out in the past and told her to end her life. And also told me he hated all her fans. They were so annoying. That's who y'all look up to. That's what someone tweeted out about him. Lastly, someone came forward and alleged that he had slept with her when she was under the age of 13 or 14 and that he was six, he was 18 or about the age of 18. Allegations are very new, but there are a lot of women coming forward. There are a lot of children coming forward and it's quite scary, all of this information coming forward. I really hope those that came forward are okay and are not getting harassed on the internet because I do know a lot of people um, are not very kind to victims on the internet. I hope this video was informative and it kind of shared a look on everything. I will have links down below that take you back to the source of the original people who talked about these situations. And I don't think it's really my place to put any opinions on this just to believe the victims. These are allegations, but please believe the people coming forward and everything that they're talking about with their experiences. I believe Netflix will release a statement soon. I hope they release it soon. They definitely need to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, do not forget to follow all of my other social media. It really helps me out as a creator. Like, subscribe, comment, all of the things. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.